Hey there, in this video I'll be showing off my Wilhelm build. The focus of this build is going to be on lasers and tanking damage, just being a big beefy guy, soaking up all those hits. Um, like with my other builds, you can kind of just use whatever the hell you want to use. Like if you get more enjoyment out of using gray pistols, go right ahead, I don't know how, but be my guest. Um, I just use, like, these lasers in different varieties. Like, I have this corrosive laser. It's actually a really good corrosive weapon. This isn't a laser, but I haven't found a better fire laser yet. Uh, the Excalibaster is really good for freezing enemies, because if you land a critical hit, it's a guaranteed freeze. Um, the E-Gun just kind of does a lot of damage. It doesn't have an element, which I'm pretty sure makes it, like, the only non-elemental laser in the game. But it's just, like, actually a really solid weapon all around. Uh, the Prismatic Bulwark. I just use this because of all the laser bonuses, like damage and damage resistance and all that. And if you want to use something else, you're more than welcome to. Uh, the Scout Mech. I mainly just use this because I like the skills that it boosts, mainly rapid reinforcement, but Energize is also a nice buff. Uh, excuse me. Um, you can also use the Celestial Enforcer. That's also a... a, a, a shut up, Wilhelm. The, um, the Celestial Enforcer is also a really good choice if you just, like... If you just want to, I don't know, do something else. <laughs> Um, the grenade, you know me by now, I don't use grenades, I just kind of pick this up as like, ooh, shiny, so, yeah. Uh, this isn't really, like, a class mod that I would use, or not class mod, an Oz kit. I am just using this because you kind of need an Oz kit in this game. I, I want to get an Eddie, because that also gives, like, laser bonuses, but I'm lazy, and I don't really want to play Wilhelm any more than I have to, because he's kind of boring, honestly. <laughs> I was, mm, I was not having fun towards the end of doing this. <laughs> He's all right, but uh, I'll I'll share my thoughts later. So uh, we're gonna let's just go right into the skills. Um, we're gonna start with the blue the blue tree here, and then we'll go to the red tree, and then we'll go to the green tree. Uh, the blue tree is all about buffing yourself. So like, uh, we'll just go right into it. Laser focus, uh, yeah, because I use a lot of lasers. It's just a nice buff for lasers. Um, main and machine, you can take it if you want to. Um, it's not required, but I like the buffs, so, yeah. Uh, targeting scope, yeah, it's buffed by my class mod. I'm going to take it. Uh, power fist, um, this is like a... Shut up. This is like a... Like an override for your melee, you do like a really long range punch that deals explosive damage, and it actually pairs really well with the Escalabastard. Like if you freeze someone and you go up and land a critical hit with the Power Fist, it does a lot of damage. Like it can one shot even badass enemies. So yeah, I would definitely. Some people don't like it, but you did a robot hand, and that's cool as hell. So don't listen to the haters. Uh, shock absorbers, you get, oh my god, stop talking, you, this just allows you to run and shoot at the same time, which you are not allowed to do in Borderlands, for reasons that I do not know, um, and plus you get a little, little, a little gun damage boost when you run and shoot at the same time, so, why not, um, emergency response, yeah, that's, this is a really good skill, you just get a bunch of buffs when your shield breaks, so, yeah. Uh, divert power, yes. This skill is actually really good. Like, this skill has saved my life multiple times. I would not pass up on it. Uh, welcome to the gun show. You don't have to take welcome to the gun show. I will, because I just like the buffs. It's not entirely necessary. If you want to put the point somewhere else, go ahead. Uh, Meteor Slam. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot. First of Fight's bad. Don't take First of Fight. Uh, Meteor Slam is also bad. Don't take it. I don't know why this is here, but 
Vengeance Cannon. Um, yeah. Vengeance. Oh my god, he's still talking. But, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, Vengeance Cannon is cool, but unfortunately, it does incendiary damage. But this game takes place in space where there's no oxygen, so incendiary damage is like not gonna happen. So it's still good. It's still a good skill, though, in my opinion. And it activates when your shield's depleted. So whenever your shield breaks, you're gonna get Vengeance Cannon and you're gonna get Emergency Response. So you're gonna be doing some work when your shield breaks. Um, yeah, moving on to the red tree here. This is about buffing your little healer drone saint. Yeah, that's what it's called. Your little healer drone, increasing its effectiveness. Uh, we're gonna go into auxiliary tanks. Just a little cooldown buff. Energize, yeah. This gives you a lot of shield recharge when you have your little drone on you. And plus, he gives you more health. You know. Uh, termination protocols. Termination Protocols is really not that good, especially late game. Like, the, the nuclear explosion does not do as much damage as you think it would. They have to be, like, already basically dead for them to get killed by it. But it does give you, like, extra walking speed during Fight for Your Life, and it, it feels nice. It's better than regular Fight for Your Life, if that's any consolation. Um, oh, I forgot to fortify. I mean, you can take it if you want. I'm not going to. Heat Saints, same thing. I'm not going to take it. You can if you want to. Uh, zero Hour. I mean, we might come back to this. Depends on how many points I end up having left. Because I haven't done the math yet. Rapid Reinforcement. Yes, yes, yes. Fucking 80% reload speed. 40% cooldown rate. 30% movement speed. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is mentally ill. That should be put in an institution, in an insane asylum. Um, hazmat containment system is not that good. I would not recommend taking it. Hard to kill. Yeah, makes you big and beefy. If you take damage, you gain a stack. The stack makes you take less damage. It's just kind of a cycle. Uh, kinetic armor, no, not that good. Overcharge, this is kind of like... The entire reason to take this skill tree is for overcharge, because it gives you movement speed, reload speed, fire rate, ammo regen. You just get everything. It only, yeah, it only lasts for the first 10 seconds if you're using your ability, but it's still a really good skill. So, moving on to the green tree here. The skill, the skill tree is about buffing your attack drone wolf, and he's not that good. I hate to say it, that drone does not do damage. <laughs> no matter how many skill points you put into him, he does not do damage. So, we're just gonna do Afterburner, because it gives you reload speed and bullet speed. We'll do Suppression for a fire rate buff. We'll do Laser Guided, because Laser Guided is just like, you hit a button at an enemy, and that enemy will start taking more damage. Literally, like... This is, like, kind of, I, this is my opinion, but this is kind of the only reason to go down this skill tree. Anything beyond that. Mm. So, one skill point left here. You can put this wherever. I'm going to put it in zero hour, just because more healing and never hurt no one. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's Wilhelm. Uh, Wilhelm was the first character that I played when I first played this game, because I heard he could turn into, like, a cyborg, and that sounded cool as hell. And it kind of is, but it's also kind of underwhelming, because you get a robot arm, a ro robot legs, and you get a shoulder cannon. I thought... I thought there was going to be kind of more than that, but whatever. Um, Wilhelm... Uh, the more I played him, the less I liked him, honestly. He is very much, like, the easiest character to get a grasp on. Because his action skill doesn't, like, really do... It literally does stuff for you. It heals you. It does damage for you. Yada, yada. Um, I would definitely say he is the weakest character in this game. But he's not weak like 
he doesn't do bad damage or anything. He is still a strong character, but just compared to every other character in this game, Wilhelm is definitely the weakest character. Like, he can't do what Nisha or Jack or Claptrap can do. He just can't. He can't compete with them. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll show some gameplay here in a second. Uh, my next video will be Nisha. I don't know how long that's going to take me. The reason this one I got out so quickly is because I already had Wilhelm at, like, level 60 before I even started doing this series. So... He was already basically done. I just needed to get those last 10 levels, and I was at. So I don't know how long it'll take me to do Nisha, but I'll try my hardest. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Do that stuff. Uh, make sure you brush your teeth and eat your vegetables. Good night.